put your hands together for John Holloway with the Global Advertising Crisis. Wow, it's really bright up here. Um, so Steve Jobs once said that uh, if you know what you're talking about, then you don't need PowerPoint. So you're going to see random images of my favorite Muppets come up behind me, <laughs> which literally has nothing to do with what I'm going to talk about. But when you see your favorite Muppet, please cheer. That would be awesome. So put your hand up if you work in advertising. Marketing, client side, whatever it is. Everybody with their hand up right now, and that includes me, is fucked. And we're fucked because of the GFC. Now, not because of the financial implications of the GFC, <laughs> but because of the reason that the GFC actually happened in the first place. This, this just was not a good idea, was it? This just, that's more interesting than I am. Uh, so, so the GFC happened. The GFC happened because of a lie. Uh, and there were three parties involved. So there were people who couldn't afford to buy houses. There were the people and the brokers and the bankers who were willing to lend them money. And there was investors who were trying to look for a return on that money. So what happens, like Miss Piggy, when you give people houses they can't afford? They can't afford them and they default. Now, people default all over the world on an ongoing basis. But when it happens en masse, what it does, it devalues everybody's house. And then the people who actually can afford to pay their mortgages, don't, afford, don't pay their mortgages, and uh, the banks get left holding everybody's houses at a devaluant on an ongoing basis. Now, that means that the investors pull out and say, fuck off, we're not involved with you anymore, and we have to bail them out. So all of us in this room, well, not Australia, but everywhere else in the world has been bailing out their banks. Now, advertising is in a similar position because advertising is a lie. And anybody who works in advertising will realize that advertising is a lie because advertising is not effective. And advertising is not effective. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that now. So there's three parties involved with advertising. There's the client marketers. Any client marketers in the house? No, good. Any creative and media people in the room? Oh, fuck me. And uh, there's the, there's, I keep looking at my hands as if I've got magical fingers. And there's the, uh, there's the guys who put the money in. Now, who watches Mad Men? Okay, that's 1950s, 1960s advertising. And basically, that's exactly what we're like right now. In fact, we've actually devolved from that point. So back in the 1950s, product, marketing, and sales were all one department. In the modern world, they're all separate. So advertising is so far away from the product, it literally has no relationship with what you're actually buying. In the 1950s and 60s, media and creative were joined together. In the modern world, we are opposing forces. We are two separate industries that fight amongst each other and lie. <laughs> and in the 1950s and 60s, <laughs> meep, um, there were, uh, in the 1950s and 60s, there were four TV channels, there was one radio station, and people had nothing better to do than watch advertising. In the current world, well, here you are. You're stood here. You've all got your mobile phones out. You've got your iPads. You are the most distracted, most astute, most advertising-savvy people that have ever existed. And that causes a massive issue, because you guys have no interest in advertising whatsoever. Now, the client marketer, and I'm glad there's none here, because I'm just about to slag them off, um, have the worst job in the world, because they've got a product that's shit. They've got a guy above them who wants them to sell a million things of these products. And they've got a creative and media agency who basically lying to them on an ongoing basis. <laughs> but that's not the problem. The reason they <laughs> count von Kaut. Ooh. The, uh, the reason that advertising is going to fall apart is because of the money men, the CEOs. And it's something that all advertisers and marketers ignore, the people who put the money into advertising. Now, in the last 40 years, the average age of a CEO has been about 57 years old. In the next three to four years, that's going to drop, and it's already started dropping, to about the mid-40s, mid which is a completely different type of person. They are the Steve Jobs era. They understand that the product is the most important thing, and they understand that advertising doesn't work. So just like the GFC, when you take the money out of advertising, what all you've got left is a load of people in this room, including me, who are not getting paid. And that means that we are going to have a global meltdown. And these are my favorite, Bert and Ernie. Yeah. So basically, guys, if you work in advertising now, it's time for us to evolve, because basically our model works now is a lie. And if we don't change, we're going to end up being the Muppet. And we're going to look like this guy here. 
That took a lot less time now than it did earlier on. So um, <laughs> there's one more Muppet coming, and it is the best one because it's the bear. And there he is. This is marketing and advertising in the next 10 years is going to be this dude here. It's a Muppet sat behind a desk who doesn't know what he's doing. So not much like it has been for the last 10 years. So thank you very much.